Hello everyone. Welcome to Talent Developer. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a customer using a Stripe dashboard. So first of all, you need a Stripe account. Once you have successful sign up or after login, you will see this kind of a screen. So here all the overview you can see like cross volume, new connected account and multiple things. So day by day Stripe is adding new feature. So if you notice we have one section customers once you will click here you will see all the list of customers so first time if you are login or sign up you will see you will have not any customer but if you need to create a new customer without using any API what we can do just go to the new and just click here here it will ask to the name so I will just use John name okay in email I will just use ABC at the rate of gmail dot com if you are not going to give this email account then you cannot create this account so if you click add customer this customer will be created at that time but if you need to add some more details like in description you can add so if you click here billing information you can see this customer billing details you can fill here like what is his country name address city everything you can fill then what about the shipping details if you need same thing just click here and Stripe also added this kind of feature like you can choose the language according to your customer so you can see there are multiple languages here, is here and you can also add their currency right so if you want to skip just click add customer so what will happen you will see one customer has been created with the name of John but you need to create a new account with all details so just go here click add here okay check I will use check at the rate of gmail dot com and you will see more details just fill if you need to add like Arabic currency just ask add here here invoice preface is there so if you need to add some unique things like invoice you can add here it will reflect to the future invoices and what about tax status you can also select here and according to uh, your preference you just select and add after that what about the tax ID right suppose if I will take the example of India India we are using GST so you have to add that GST if you are in different country Australia according to Australia rules you have to add their transaction ID so once you are done suppose you click on add customer the new customer will be created here you can notice here in default source you are not seeing anything so this default source is mainly for once you have created a customer and you added the card details so it will reflect on that time currently you will see nothing is there but if you notice here whatever you have selected or whatever you have added data it will reflect here so name is you can see check at the rate of gmail.com that is email then billing information I have not added any details so you can see currently these details we have added suppose if you need to update details just go click here so again it will pop up same screen according to your knowledge just fill this data and if you notice here right this customer has been created at this date at this time and every customer will have some unique ID that is called customer ID so always you can save this customer ID in your database or whatever so this is very important thing so this is a way to create a new customer using dashboard but uh, according to me if you ask I will always say like just go create through API it is a very good practice and after that you can store this data into your database here you have to do all things manually so if it is an emergency condition then just try to create from here okay so in next video we are going to show so many different features using Java and known technology and multiple technology I'm also planning to implement some more videos thank you guys please subscribe my channel